Okay, what's up guys? Uh, got a new camera here because my old one is misplaced or something of that nature. Um, this is a pretty cool little little camera though. I uh, picked it up for about $250. So, um, I mean the other camera was pretty glitched and stuff. It kept messing up. So, um, But yeah, we're going to meet Frank at the old uh, Redwood Park now. And... Um, I'll continue this vlog when I get there. So Anthony and I are out here uh, walking around this park and we're going to do our first episode talking about ghosts and paranormal things. So Yeah, there's a lot of them uh, around here. Yep. So what do you got to say about that, Anthony? Uh, what are we supposed to be talking well, about? Well, I don't really want to give people like <laughs> our location because that's kind of creepy. To tell them about their herbal legends here if, if like we tell them what ex exactly it is like it'll reveal our location and stuff you know yep so uh just i don't know there's several places around here that are supposedly haunted and stuff and after that a little spiel at my house um yeah I, pokemon right yeah uh I actually want to talk about that in a second, clear things up in the video, but... <laughs> I thought you better say, I don't want to talk about it. Well, uh, people have been asking me about it and stuff, so... Um, but... What was I saying? Talking about urban legends. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of, like, urban legends and myths and supposed haunted places around here, so... Uh, what me and Frank are going to do is basically... Um, you know, go with the camera and investigate them. Um, record yep. wherever we find because there's one place, there's like this haunted church or whatever, uh, not too far from, where, where, where would you say it's at? Don't like, uh, from well actually here? Don't, don't, don't give a location, but. No, it's probably about, it's a loud ass air conditioner or something. It's probably about 15 miles from here. Yeah, that's, so that should be uh -huh. interesting. Um, undisclosed location yep I'm just, I'm pretty stoked yeah uh, I actually went there the other week Did I tell you about that uh nope um well I couldn't get in because it was like after hours and it was like an alarm system yeah there was a window open but I saw the alarm system and I, it's a and I just bolted <laughs> yeah don't do that it's a historical church like it's open to the public all day pretty much um I've actually been in there at night one time. I guess they left the doors unlocked and the alarm off. Uh, me and a couple of people went up there and it's pretty spooky. Anything happen? Um, well, there's this door. I guess I'll point it out to you if you go up there. Okay. Uh, there's a, like you walk through the main church place and uh, like, I don't know what it is. <clears throat> but you walk in the front of the church and then out the back and there's this little patio thing that you can either go down like two stairs and go to like the cemetery behind it or there's a door that they keep locked all the time. Yeah. And uh, me and a couple friends went up there during the day and the door was locked, you know, there's nothing really weird about it. Yeah. But then we went back at night and uh, I went to check out that door I think it was locked the first time we tried to open it, but it was unlocked the second time. Like, within five minutes, it had unlocked. Hmm. And, uh, like, that's legit. I'm not just trying to creep you out. But, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, so supposedly there's some kind of weird stuff going on there. Uh, but, yeah, what happened? What do you do up there? Yeah. Okay. I'll talk to you later, bye. All right, sorry. Interrupting our goddamn video. I know, um, anyway, what, what'd you ask? Uh, just asked what you guys did up at the chapel. You said you saw the alarm and turn tail and run. Oh yeah, um, that's basically it. Uh, I wanna go ahead and talk about that uh, whole sh email spiel or whatever. Yeah. Um, because. Yeah, I saw I gotta, that and I read a little bit of that, but. I got excited about it because like 
you know, I, I thought it explained away a lot of stuff, but I was just like, you know, it's like a kid on Christmas and he gets something that's not that good. <laughs> yeah. But he, you know, he, he like thinks it's good, but it turns out to be shitty, kind of. <laughs> like I didn't. <laughs> it's you get your to, hopes up. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, like you know, I didn't really take into account that. For one, like, you know, the person sending it had to be like 60. Yeah. With the whole dates and everything, and um, I don't know, like, I, I just got overexcited and didn't pay attention to the details. But uh, yeah. the main thing. I wanted to, like, most people pointed out that the paragraphs, the first letters, all, like, when the letters were all put together, they spelled out lies. And you can actually take the title of the letter, which was, like, a lucky letter. Yeah. And take the first letter of those, and it's, like, all lies, so I know it's not coincidence now. Um, and people pointed that out, and so I, I wouldn't trust that letter. Um, it was probably sent by whoever made that weird-ass YouTube channel that keeps, like, it's really bizarre because as far as I know, I have my like video responses, you know, I have them set to where like I have to approve them, you know what I mean? Yeah. <clears throat> and somehow like whoever that person is, um, a lot of people are saying it's like the ghost or whatever, but I really don't think like a ghost could make an email address. It's definitely someone like <laughs> screwing with me, I think, you know? Yeah. Like a person. But I don't know how they got their, uh, I don't know how they got their, like, responses to go through and me accept them. But then again, several of my videos got deleted, so maybe, like, somebody got hold of my password, but I changed it, like, five times. Yeah. Um, you're the only person I know that has it, so yep. I don't think Pretty honorable. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't think you have enough free time to do all, all that stuff. So. Nope. <laughs> You got a full, not a full time, but almost full time job. Yep. You're playing Skyrim right now, so I know you're not gonna. Yep. Really leave my room. <laughs> I haven't heard from you since it came out. Nope. So, since it came out, I should say. True that. But uh, yeah, that's that's basically it. Uh, just a little intro vlog, you know, um, video or whatever, just to give you guys a heads up on what's going on and. Uh, I guess that's it. Yep, see you guys.